We went to Frenching Hospital yesterday. What was that like? It was a great experience, uh, very humbling, um, and it's always nice to, in some way, I know uh, us Christmas singing Christmas cards uh, wouldn't put a smile on, on many people, but uh, these kids are going through a very hard time, and uh, anyone, any type of affection or, or especially dedicating your time, they, they really appreciate it as well. It's it's, it's very. Uh, it's very good to put your feet on the ground and, and uh, realise how lucky you are sometimes uh, that you're healthy and family as well. And I guess as a father, did that add a little bit of extra perspective? Yeah, it was tough, it was tough. Uh, it was tough and you leave there, uh, as I said, um, humbled and thinking how lucky I am and how much I should appreciate uh, the good things. We're at the halfway stage of the season now. How would you assess the first half of the campaign? I'd say choppy. <laughs> so uh, we we did start. We had we had some uh, problems with with performances uh, that we weren't able uh, to maintain a certain level, which we are we aspire to, we, which we work for. Um, but in the last month or two months, I'd say um, we've we've we found our way. We've worked really hard. Uh, we we've had a very deep look into what we're doing and how we're doing it uh, and I think it's, it's, it's brought results um, we need to take things one game at a time it's a very tough league and the margins are very small a great example is the game against London London Scottish where you have a half time the first time the first half of uh, I think we drew and then uh, suddenly two three two three things go well and you beat them by uh, 20 points I mean, seven wins in the last eight games, this confidence must be quite high at the moment. Yeah, our confidence is, it, it grows, but I just think we have to keep our feet on the ground, uh, really focus on developing, growing as a squad, growing as, um, as a unit, and, and really gain that self-confidence that we can, uh, we can take on any other team. But it's going to be very, very, very hard, regardless of where they stand in the table. Uh, that's how tough the league is at the moment, uh, which is which is a great thing uh, for the league. And and we've had our lessons, uh, for example, at Nottingham, and uh, hopefully they've been in the first part of the year, and and we won't repeat that when it really matters. Because there's two crucial games now over this Christmas period, starting with Doncaster on Sunday. Mm. Yeah, uh, Doncaster on Sunday. I think we shouldn't look uh, further than, than Doncaster on Sunday. No Pirates away. Is, it's a special game. It's on the first uh, first day of January, and, and and the history from last year, the semi final. There's always that uh, that little extra, but we we can't afford to even look at what's past Sunday. Uh, we have to look at Doncaster. They've been playing really well. They have a very tough pack, which will be hard to stop, and they'll be coming down here to try and get a result. So you're expecting it to be physical up front. Yeah, we expect to be very physical up front, and uh, they're a well-drilled uh, uh, team, and I think um, it, it's going to be a great, great test match. It's it's a good day on the 23rd. Um, hopefully, I know there's a lot of tickets been sold, and, and hopefully we'll have, as as always, our supporters backing us in, in great numbers.